sea turtles have roamed the Earth's oceans for over 100 million years. They play an important role in maintaining ocean ecosystems, but in recent decades, their populations have dramatically declined, primarily through man-made commercial and industrial activities. All species of sea turtles are now considered threatened or endangered. Since 1977, Sea Turtle Inc. has been recognized for successfully implementing rehabilitation, education, and conservation programs worldwide. However, a major expansion is necessary in order to meet the growing demand for our services. Kemp's Ridley is the rarest and smallest species of sea turtles. They are native to the Gulf of Mexico coastline and return to the very beach where they were born to deposit new clutches of eggs, typically three times a year. They use their flippers to dig a nest in the sand, deep enough to protect the eggs from scavenging predators such as birds, crabs, and foxes. Meanwhile, the eggs from each nest are transferred to a protective corral where they will incubate in the warm sand for about two months. The corral at South Padre Island may contain 30 or more nests in one year. Education is another important aspect of our mission. Children and adults can participate in daily lectures and presentations to help them understand the plight of these endangered reptiles and what they can do to help sustain the growth of our sea turtle populations. And to always be sea turtle protectors for life. Do you promise? Yeah. 7.8. And this little guy stranded from eating plastic. 2.3. Rehabilitation of sick and injured sea turtles is a critical mission as well. Equipment and veterinary services are available on a continuing basis. While some turtles must remain as permanent residents of the rescue center, most are released back into the wild after they have recovered. This is always a special occasion for everyone. Okay, everybody say bye-bye to Lizzie. Bye, Lizzie. Bye, Lizzie. Bye, Lizzie. Bye, Lizzie. Bye, Lizzie. Have fun in the ocean. Have fun with the babies. Once the newborn hatchlings leave their nest, they are carried to the beach. Early morning is the best time for the release into the sea. They use the sun as their beacon and head right for the water. Something quite remarkable happens now. Similar to GPS, their internal navigation system marks this spot as home and will remain with them all their lives. But it's a dangerous world out there for these little fellas. Not only do they have to deal with the land-based predators, the sea has its own hazards, including commercial fishermen, water pollution, and storms, as well as sharks and other hungry sea creatures. Only one in 300 hatchlings makes it back to their home shore, and the sea turtle cycle begins again. Welcome to a virtual tour of our proposed new home. Our present facility will be converted to a rescue center for recovering and releasable turtles. A new air-conditioned clinic will enable us to provide most needed veterinarian services on site and safely store inventory and medicines often spoiled by the warm, humid climate. A 4,000 square foot education center will be accessible by car or from a 500 foot long nature walk constructed alongside our lagoon. New tanks will be arranged to provide improved traffic flow as tour guides enable visitors to more efficiently meet our resident sea turtles up close. A 230 seat amphitheater will feature multimedia capabilities with special above and below ground presentation tanks for featured turtles. Natural history displays will describe sea turtle contributions to the environment and marine ecology. The Ed Center will also contain an enlarged gift shop along with conference and training rooms, restrooms and offices. A family picnic area will be available as well. With your help, we can achieve our vision of establishing Sea Turtle Inc. as a world leader in marine life conservation and education by expanding our South Padre Island facility and services and increasing our role in helping endangered sea turtle populations worldwide recover. Thank you. <laughs>